Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, the ATL Don, checking in. This week we got a very special episode. This is to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Tupac's first number one album, Me Against the World. It was the first album to ever go number one while the artist was incarcerated. Uh, I'm a little bit late on the actual day that it was released. I've been sitting on this for a little while. As you know, I run behind on doing my unboxings. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's see. Anxious to uh, check this stuff out. Been wanting to see this stuff ever since it came in. Been dying to open it. So, I bought this from Tupac.com. So, this is the 25th anniversary edition of the Me Against the World album. I have the regular version, but this one is special. Let me open it up. Trying to keep from accidentally cutting the uh, cover. All right, I'm going to show you what makes this different than the original. Got some black and white photo of Tupac. All right, this initially sold out. I actually pre-ordered this, but it initially sold out, but I think they did restock it. I don't know if they have it back in stock or not. But instead of being black albums, they're this tan, like goldish color. I think it's really dope so that's the reason why I wanted to pick this up even though I had the original 12 inch vinyl of me against the world this album had a lot of good songs both records are gold uh, as you see there many people don't know that his group the outlaws is actually featured on this album but they're under a different name they go by dramatical they actually are on a song called outlaw so i got that to add to my collection for those that don't know and are new to the channel i'm also in the music industry i very fortunate to have connections to the shakur family I've done songs with his group, The Outlaws. I knew his mother, rest in peace. Also, rest in peace to Tupac. He was my idol growing up. He's the one that inspired me to really take this rap thing to the next level. All right, so this is a Me Against the World shirt. It's got like that acid wash type look to it. See, it's got the album artwork on it. Got it in size XL. It's got the Tupac branding on the inside. Very dope shirt. I do not remember the prices on this stuff. I apologize. I've, like I said, I've been sitting on this for a little bit. I also picked up the 25th anniversary of his group album Thug Life. I never had this on vinyl. I only had it on CD. I don't know if this has done any kind of special color or not. We'll check it out and see. Once again, try not to cut the album or the cover or anything. I used to have a shrine at one of my apartments I lived in, and I had, I'm sure you've seen those frames you can frame out al albums in. So I had the 
the five solo albums, counting Machiavelli, because that was finished before he died, along with Thug Life framed. But I didn't have the Thug Life LP to put in the frame, so the thing I did was um, ended up scanning the CD cover and had had a 12 by 12 picture printed of it to to fill the frame. Sorry, it's taking so long. I don't want to screw this up. Just trying to keep the plastic intact on it. Well, that's pretty dope. I've seen that picture before. Well, it's got the track listing and everything on the back. Mm, just the traditional black vinyl on that. It's still very dope. One thing I noticed, they added Tupac's name above Thug Life, which I know the original wouldn't have been that way. It would have just been how you see on the album cover. So those are the three items I picked up off the Tupac.com website. I do have a couple other Tupac things that's my most prized like possessions of my collection that I want to share. I do have his Me Against the World CD autographed. I don't know how well you can see it, but on the front, he uses a lot of symbols when he writes. So he has the peace symbol, then use the letter N, then the heart. So it says peace and love always Tupac. He put on the front. Then he also signed it on the back side. And he put a uh, Hold your 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 head up high, um, peace always, Tupac. And he used the arrow for the up, then the peace sign um, in place of the word peace always. So you may ask, why do I have this one autographed versus the All Eyes on Me? This album I think was special because it's the first time that an artist had a number one album while incarcerated. I also have which the glare may screw this up, but if you look where my index finger's pointing, I have this 8x10 signed by Tupac. I don't know how well you can see it. The sign is silver. Like I said, I knew his mother. So I had the double XL cover that she was on. I had her sign it in blue. She put infamous C, peace and love and respect to Feeney Shakur. She was an amazing woman. She always showed me much love and respect every time she saw me. And this is his group, The Outlaws, which is autographed. It's Young Noble in the middle. Castro, which is actually Pac's blood cousin. Castro's mom and Pac's mom are sisters. And this is Edie. He actually has a, a, a kid with Tupac's sister, Set Shakur. So they personalized it to Infamous C, Young Noble, out, Outlaws, then... Uh, Edie put Thug Love, Edie Don, and Castro just simply has Castro on there. I have three songs with them. Two I've, I have released. One um, is still unreleased. Then I have a different version from the same photo shoot. This one, they just put uh, their names with the exception of Young Noble wrote Outlaws and Edie wrote Thug Love again. So those are some of my more prized pieces from my Tupac collection. I do have all the different CD covers and stuff autographed by the Outlaws and stuff. But that'd take forever to show. So, uh, if these items are still available, which they may or may not be, I'll put the links down below in the description. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Transit Limited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy from C, the ATL Don sign out. Peace. <laughs>